It's 4.30. Where's Phil? He went out job hunting. You know, it's a shame. He can't just relax and enjoy his retirement. Oh. Fish can't relax, Charlie. Makes him nervous. <laughs> oh, Fish, you're home. Yeah. Oh, Phil, how did the job hunting go? That good, huh? <laughs> You know what the agency said, Bernice? They said a man my age might have trouble relating to the other workers. What relating do I need? Good morning, good night, and that's not my job. Didn't they send you out in any interviews? Yeah. One was a job that was turned down by an illegal alien. And the other one was in a restaurant opening clams in the window. Then, they sent me on an interview to a part of Brooklyn that I wouldn't go without a cop. And that's when I was a cop. Phil, you just have to face facts. I mean, the job market is rough. How would you know? <laughs> oh, I have to dish out the vegetables. Okay. Boy, you don't, don't tell me, man. Boy, Victor, you sure I don't. All that bread, man. I don't care. I ain't taking it. You're not taking what? A newspaper guy asked Victor if you want job delivery in newspapers. Two bucks an hour. He gets a job offer. <laughs> Two dollars an hour? That sounds like a good deal. I ain't getting up at six o'clock in the morning. Besides, what good's money if it'll affect your health? <laughs> I would have taken it, but they wanted someone a little older. Someone older? Would you have to ride a bicycle? <laughs> Mr. Fish, I got a date with Teresa tonight, so can I ask you a favor? Mike, uh, some other time. I just wanted to ask him if I can borrow his car. You're not driving my car. Not for driving, for parking. No, that's a respectable automobile. <laughs> that's a lot. Boy, Mr. Fish, you ain't no fun no more. And you never was. <laughs> Really? Diane's got some terrific news to tell you. What? What is it? Well, my music teacher told me he thought I had this real operatic voice, you know? Diane, I've never heard you sing opera. Well, I don't like to do it around the house. It's kind of noisy. Tell him what else the teacher said. He said that I could even have a career someday, but I have to practice a lot at home with a piano. But we don't have a piano. I know, but he said we could get a good use one for $300. $300? What do you think, Fish? No. Don't you think I'd like to buy her a piano? I'm on a pension. I'm on a fixed income. It's fixed, so I can't afford anything. <laughs> Fish, maybe we could cut down someplace. Cut down? How? This place already looks like a subway stop. So, may I say something? After I leave the room. Where are you going, Fish? Upstairs. I'll be sleeping. If not worse. It's okay, Mrs. Fish. To be an opera singer, you have to be on the diet all the time. You know how much I like to eat. Charlie. It's all right. I'll come up and talk to her. Hello, Grace. Bernice. Fish. Grace, uh, have they found somebody to take your place when you go on vacation?
you're reading through the water heads, fish? Switch to the obituary. <laughs> I'm sure you don't have to worry, fish. Some job is going to come up very soon. Maybe I can take George Morrissey's job. Who's he? I don't know, but he died yesterday. <laughs> Why are you all dressed up? I've got an appointment. Appointment with who? I'm going to meet my friend Grace. I won't be gone long. Come in. Oh, oh good morning, Bernice. Oh, Harry, good morning. I thought I'd come over and have a cup of coffee with you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just on my way out. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Oh, Harriet, I don't think you've ever met my husband. Oh, the blue knight. Hello. Harriet lives across the street. We have coffee sometimes. Bernice has told me all about you. Bernice doesn't know all about me. Listen, I'm sorry I'm in such a rush. Well, maybe you could stay and have coffee with fish. Denise, I'm not dressed. Oh, you look fine, doesn't he, Harriet? Yes, he does. Excuse me, I have to run. Denise! <laughs> the coffee is still warm. I have to lie under it. Sometimes Denise does impulsive things. I like that in a person. Yeah. <laughs> Well, would you like a cup of coffee? All right. I can only stay a few minutes. Me too. <laughs> I hope I'm not taking your coffee. I think there's enough. Better look. We never look inside. <laughs> Bernice tells me you've just retired. Yeah. I know what that must be like. My husband retired four years ago. Oh, yeah? What's he doing now? He's dead. <laughs> sure. You seem like such a young man to be retired. I am. But when you're a 63-year-old cop, they put you out to stud. In a manner of speaking. It is ridiculous. I mean, you're obviously still so robust and vital. You're a very sensitive woman. <laughs> well, I know what it's like to feel lonely and unwanted, Mr. Fish. Phil. Call me Phil. <laughs> All right. Phil. I think I better be going. I'm taking up too much of your time. You didn't finish your coffee. I know. I know, too. Well, I've enjoyed talking to you, Phil. Likewise. Maybe we can talk again sometime. I think that would be very nice. Goodbye, Phil. Goodbye. Harriet. <laughs> Are you eating again? I always eat something when I get home from school. I'll get used to it. Hey, Mr. Fish. What? Where's Miss Fish? Out. Where? Go and find her. Make a little game of it. Miss Fish, did Teresa call me? No. Well, she does. Would you do me a favor? Tell her we're through. I don't break engagements. <laughs> Hello, Fish. Oh, Bernice. Where you been? Fish, I've got something to tell you. What? 
Well, you know how badly Diane wants a piano. Yeah. Well, Fish, I found a way to make $300. Fish, I got a job. You got a job? It's only temporary. I'm a cashier at a restaurant. A cashier? Bernice, I don't want my wife working. But it's only until I get enough money for Diane's piano. You know how that makes me feel. Like, like I'm not the breadwinner anymore. Fish, don't take it like that. Just figure that I'm... Uh, I'm helping out during a, a, a difficult period. Go ahead. Throw it up to me. Tell me I can't get a job. Of course you can. No, I can't. <laughs> Fish, please. It's only for a few weeks. And if it's any consolation, I'll be home every night in time to make dinner. That's some consolation. <laughs> Why are you rushing around? You're making me nervous. I want everything nice and clean before I go to work. Can I put a piece of toast in for you? No, I can burn my own toast. <laughs> hey, I, I'm still drinking my coffee. Well, you're not drinking it from the saucer. <laughs> I don't want you to have to clean one single dish. I'll be home before you know it. So, Fish, I want you to try to have a nice day. Bye-bye. Good morning. Is uh, Bernice in? Oh, you, you just missed her. She, she just left for work. She got a job? Yeah. Oh. I was hoping to have a cup of coffee with her. Too bad. Yeah, well, well maybe we can have a cup of coffee together. Oh, I'd like that very much. Unless, uh, you think it would be wrong. Why? Well, the two of us alone together. After all, I know Bernice. Well, that's all right. I know Bernice, too. <laughs> Do you take cream and sugar? Not usually. I recommend that it kills the taste. <laughs> Are you drinking yours, Black? Oh, yeah. But I built up an immunity. Well, I'll be reckless. <laughs> oh, you really are very shy, aren't you? Only with people. You're just so strong. Are you by any chance a Leo? Uh, what? When were you born? July 28th. I was right. You are a Leo. And I am a Pisces. Is that so? You are fire and I am water. Together we make steam. <laughs> <laughs> and no offense. Oh, don't ever apologize for having a sense of humor. I didn't know I had a sense of humor. <laughs> oh. I'm enjoying this so much, Phil. Me too. You know, it's been a long time since I felt like this. This warm, glowing, mm, bluttery sensation right here. I'll get mine more to the left. <laughs> so I said to this guy, uh, you got a permit for that gun? He says to me, yeah, the Constitution, the right to bear arms. So I says, get in the car. And I'll read you the rest of your rights. You've had so many experiences. I bet you could write a book. A book? Nah. 
Maybe a few pages. <laughs> Phil, I'm so glad you asked me to stay. Well, I had the extra coffee. <laughs> Intimacy with a woman is very difficult for you, isn't it? Well, I'm, I'm mostly used to being with cops. I know. Isn't it a little warm in here? Uh, I'd better open the window. No, no, don't bother. It's all right. I feel like standing up. The seat is very hot. And, uh, it's, it's good to keep moving around. I hope you realize that this is difficult for me, too. Sure. What are you talking about? Sit down. I just stood up. I, I want my blood to circulate. Please. Phil, I know exactly how you're feeling right now. Yeah? I feel the same way. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. Very vulnerable. You know, there's a look in your eye right now that says I need something. We both need something. I know. You do? Maybe not. <laughs> Very simple. I need uh, companionship, uh, attention, affection. Yeah. yeah. You realize I've been here two hours already. I hope I haven't kept you from something important. Just lunch. I think I. Better be going, then. Don't you? Unless you'd like to join me for something to eat. I've got peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> I uh, don't trust myself. They're really not that bad. <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't we have coffee tomorrow at my apartment? Your apartment? I could make some French toast. French toast? That is, if you'd really like to come. Only if you want me to come. Oh, you'll be the one that has to say whether you want to come. Oh. I mean, you don't have to have French toast. I like French toast. Then you come. Only if you want me to. You say if you want to. I'll check my schedule. <laughs> see what I have on the agenda. If uh, you would like to pencil me in, I'll be home all morning. Aren't you supposed to be someplace else? Yeah, I'm on my way to a seminar. Where were you going? What makes you think I was going somewhere? Because uh, you have your hat and coat on. So what? It's my hat and my coat. I can wear a hat and coat in the house, can I? That's all right with me, Phil. Just because a man wears a hat and coat doesn't mean he's going out. Right. How do you know I wasn't coming in? Because uh, I've never seen you coming backwards. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Whether I'm coming or going, it's none of your business. I, uh, I realize that, Phil. Just because you're a psychologist doesn't mean that you can read people's minds and accuse them of things. Look. Phil, I, I wouldn't accuse... Look, to prove that you are wrong, I am taking off my coat <laughs> and my hat <laughs> and I am not going out. Whatever you say, Phil. Phil? What? 
I'm glad we had this little talk. <laughs> hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Mrs. Fish. Hi, Mrs. Fish. Oh, girls, that is so nice. Oh, thank you. That's so pretty. And Mrs. Fish don't even have to go into the kitchen. We cook dinner, too. You made dinner? Mm-hmm. What'd you make? It's kind of like one of yours. We ain't sure. <laughs> oh, hello, Fish. Bernice, I want to talk to you. All right. Uh, not here. That's okay. You ain't disturbing us. Come into the kitchen. What's the matter, Fitz? Bernice, I don't want you working anymore. Why not? I'm worried about you down at that restaurant. With the hot stoves and the boiling water. I'm a cashier. And the truck drivers. Truck drivers? You're a very attractive person, Bernice. I don't want you tempting people. Tempting people? Bernice, you may not realize this, but you could be tempting someone without even knowing. Fish? Are you saying that you're jealous? I'm saying I want you home. You know that I would never look at another man any more than you would ever look at another woman. <laughs> dragging me into this. We were talking about you. Fish, are you, are you worried that, that I'd fool around? Bernice, Bernice, there are people with yearnings and passions that no one knows about. Boilings and bubblings beneath the surface. And they're vulnerable. Very vulnerable. I didn't know you felt that strongly. I'll quit the job. What about the money to pay for Diane's piano? Don't worry. We'll get Diane a piano. We'll just cut down on something else. Like what? Coffee. <laughs> Bernice, Bernice, you got company. <laughs> <laughs> 